Four-star Richmond, Texas wide receiver C.D. Lamb recommitted to Oklahoma on Monday evening. He had decommitted at the end of April, picked up a number of new offers after he initially backed away from the Sooners, but in the end, the bond with the coaches in Norman was too strong for any of those new programs to come in and make him want to make a move to somewhere else. When I talked to him at the Pylon 7-on-7 National Championships in early July, he said that he intended to take visits to LSU and Ole Miss before making his final decision. He eventually backed off of those plans as well and now gives Oklahoma a very impressive trio of Texas wide receiver commits heading into the fall. Lamb has been on our radar for a while now and I had the chance to see him a couple of times over the spring. Uh, last year at Rivals Camp Series events and a few times this spring at various 7-on-7 seven seven tournaments. He also showed well at other events over the spring months and we saw it fit to give him a boost in the last ranking cycle coming out of the camp season. Lamb has a pretty common number one wide receiver mentality on the field. You know, he's always convinced he's open. He's always convinced he can make the big play when his team needs it. And his quickness and crispness running routes and one-on-one -on -one camp battles over the spring have been particularly impressive and a big factor in my opinion of him. He goes back to being a nice fit in the Sooners class with other committed receivers, Charleston Rambo and Jalen Rager, and I think he's probably the swing for the fences type of guy out of that group. You know, Rambo is going to be your steady, do everything well type of guy. Rager is a stockier, but quick option that you can put in the slot, and he has good vertical speed, but Lamb is going to be great at burning out on a route, winning jump balls, and winning individual battles with cornerbacks in one-on-one -on -one situations. He has said that his relationship with coach Dennis Simmons has been crucial in his commitment to Oklahoma and he clearly was strong enough to hold off the advances of some of those other programs uh, that he had wanted to take a look at following his first commitment. But regardless, great for Oklahoma to have him back in, the, in, in their class and just another top name for Bob Stoops in Sooner Squad 17.